Hello everyone. Today I'll be talking about five things you can do to make your data science resume stand out. As a mentor, I have conducted hundreds of resume reviews for data science roles. And as an interviewer, I have also screened many resumes. So what are the five things you must do in your data science resume? Let's get into it. The very first thing is to have a tailored summary at the top that highlights your skills, tools, and impact in two to three sentences. For example, passionate data scientist skilled in building predictive models using ML algorithms with a proven track record of collaborating with cross-functional teams to translate the data insights into actionable business strategies. This is just an example. It's always good to have a professional summary at the top. The second thing is to have technical skills. In today's competitive job market, the skills speak more than anything. You have to list the tools that are relevant to the job. For example, for data science role, it could be Python, SQL, Tableau, or any other cloud computing tools. Have some well-defined categories. My rule of thumb is to have only three categories, no more than that. It could be programming language, machine learning tools and frameworks, and the last one could be cloud computing if you have cloud experience. If not, you can add data visualization tools. Remember, these sections can be customized based on the type of rules you're applying. So if you're focused on ML rules, maybe the second category is focused on ML tools and framework. If you are focused on product data science role, maybe the second category could focus more into hypothesis testing, experimental design, A-B testing, things like that, right? So it actually depends on the type of the data science roles you are applying. The next section is the professional experience. For the new grads, I think you can highlight the experience from internships and any other teaching research or graduate assistant role you have done in the academic. If you have not had any intensive experience or in academic roles, then I always suggest to do some volunteering work with some non-profit organizations. And if you have nothing, then it's okay. You can actually list the projects and make your projects portfolio stronger in that case. So if you have some experience, then this professional ex experience section is very important to make sure that your bullet points are talking uh, you know, about the right thing in the right order. So what does that mean? For me, the bullet points should cover at least three things. What has been done? how it is done and what result it has produced. For example, developed a churn prediction model using light CBM package in Python, resulting in the reduction of churn rate by 20% in the last six months. So very simple example. The first section covers what you have done, building a churn prediction model. The second section covers how you have done it. So using light GBM package in Python. And the last section covers the impact, right? It results in the reducing the churn rate by 20% in six months. Make sure your bullet points cover all those three sections in the same consistent manner. And the fourth section for me is the education. You have to highlight your degree with the relevant courses as tailored to the job. For example, master's in data science, and you can have the date of graduation or when you will be graduating if you have not yet. And then you can add a line saying relevant courses, which could be something that you can utilize to tailor it to the job. So if the job is talking about big data tools, you can, and you have done some course in the big data, I think that is one opportunity to highlight that. The final section or the fifth section for me is the projects. And this section is actually optional for the experienced folks who can either highlight more bullet points to their professional experience or you can also have certifications to highlight if they are relevant to the role. So for the new grads or anyone who's trying to transition into data science from different job family, this section will be very helpful to showcase your skills. As I say in the section three, that if you are missing professional experience as a new grad, then you must uh, you know, use the project section to make your resume stronger. So make sure you have the portfolio link. You talk the very brief summary about the project in the resume, and then the more details can be shared from the portfolio link itself, right? Along with your code repo. If And uh, remember, even your projects should have the measurable impacts, just like how I described in the professional experience, you should cover what is done, how it is done, what result was produced from that project. So what is the end result or impact or anything that you learned from that project. This actually concludes the five things that you should consider to have in a data science resume. Uh, your resume should tell a story about you. Remember, you are not there to explain anything about your resume. It should be able to talk to the recruiter or the hiring manager, whoever is reviewing her resume on your behalf. 
I hope you'll find this video useful. In my next video, I'm planning to cover the five things you must avoid in a data science resume. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.